video, five easy steps all kidney disease patients should follow to lower their creatinine levels by 20% in six months. Catherine here, I've been working with people suffering from kidney problems for 10 years now and I've seen many people achieving what was once considered impossible, greatly improving their kidney function. I've talked about their stories here several times here on Double O Kidney, but today's video is different. Today we are going to focus on what works for everyone. We are going to see what good habits, foods, and remedies every single kidney disease patient should take advantage of if they want to improve. There is a breakthrough study in particular I want to show you that will change the way you look at fruits and vegetables forever. Don't miss that. And now, a very important question needs an answer. Can you really lower your creatinine levels? Creatinine levels, one of the main indicators of kidney function, are supposed to go only one direction, from bad to worse. You see, even in people without kidney disease, kidney function is still supposed to decrease with age. That's why people have two kidneys. It's a redundant system that can sustain you, even at about half capacity. This is a very important thing to keep in mind because it defines our main goal. We want to keep our kidney function as stable as possible for as long as possible. We want to avoid a fast decline. And while finding remedies that have a positive, immediate impact on certain markers of kidney function such as creatinine can really help, what we need to keep in mind is this. The battle against kidney disease is a march, not a sprint. So yes, it's possible to lower creatinine levels and even quickly. Look, today I will also show you a couple of remedies that are proven to do just that. So you can see an improvement at your next doctor appointment. But that's not our main goal. What we really want is to keep our actual levels or maybe slightly better levels for the years to come. That's what winning the battle against kidney disease means. And with this goal in mind, there are four steps all patients must take to keep kidney function steady and also to improve markers of kidney filtration such as creatinine and proteinuria. Let's start with reducing the acid load on the kidneys. This is one of the few things that are proven by large studies to actually work to reverse kidney damage. Question: What foods are a must in a renal diet that works? A diet that really works to lower your creatinine levels must have three peculiarities. First of all, it must be alkaline. This is why I recommend adding leafy greens such as lettuce, kale, celery, parsley, and mustard greens. There is one veggie that always has a special place in the renal diet, spinach. Many green leafy vegetables are incredibly good for you, but spinach is not just linked to lower blood pressure, it's also the most alkaline food on the planet. Never underestimate the difference an alkaline diet can make. Fact: Kidney disease thrives on body acidity. When you remove foods that cause acidity from your diet and replace them with foods that remove acidity, you are already putting your kidneys in the condition to repair. This was proven by several studies. Another veggie with incredible benefits, kohlrabi. This is a vegetable in the Brassica oleracea family that comes either in green or purple and can be eaten raw or cooked. The leaves are edible too and are good for you. There are two reasons why this food and other components of the Brassica oleracea family are a must in your diet. First of all, they are very alkaline, more than many other veggies. Second benefit, kohlrabi is really rich in many of those micronutrients kidney disease patients are often deficient in. This includes vitamin C to fight oxidative stress in the kidneys, but also calcium to protect your bones and folate to fight anemia. Cool 
kohlrabi is usually available year-round at most grocery stores. The bulbous kohlrabi system is frequently used raw in salad or slows. It has a texture similar to that of a broccoli stem but with a sweeter flavor. Now, a diet that really works must contain the minerals you need and be low in those you don't need. This is why nuts are a must. Almonds in particular are an amazing superfood. They are great for people with kidney problems because they are alkaline, they are low in potassium and they are also rich in magnesium. This mineral helps with high blood pressure and diabetes and it also lowers inflammation. Unfortunately, having a deficiency in magnesium is just as common as it is dangerous. So eat more almonds. And also, eat shiitake mushrooms. This is another superfood that fills a common nutritional deficiency. The common common deficiency in people with kidney disease is vitamin D. Some experts are starting to consider vitamin D the kidney vitamin because patients with higher levels of this vitamin always have slower declining kidney function. And shiitake mushrooms are basically the only good food source of this vitamin. Research confirms that eating these mushrooms two to three times a week is a great way to avoid the deficiency in this key vitamin. Guys, there are many foods with special benefits to help your kidney function improve. I recently uploaded a video to share with you what the best superfoods and recipes are for the perfect breakfast. It's up here if you want to know more. So it's clear that fruit and vegetables in the diet can make a lot of difference when it comes to kidney function. And the reason is not just that they protect the kidneys from acids. One more thing that they will really help you with is getting more fiber. Fiber is an incredibly underestimated part of the diet. A breakthrough study concluded that fiber, even alone, can lower your creatinine levels significantly. Question, how can you use fiber to lower your creatinine levels? Everyone knows that fiber can help you with regularity. What many people don't know about fiber is that the human gut evolved to thrive on fermentable fibers, not bacon cheeseburgers. We've evolved to depend on nutrients that our microbiome is produced for us. But with recent shifts in diet away from fiber-rich foods, we've stopped feeding our microbes what they need. The average American adult only consumes 20 to 40% of the daily recommended amount of fiber, which is believed to be a root cause behind a lot of our common diseases, including obesity, cardiovascular disease, digestive disorders, and kidney problems. This is due to the imbalance the gut microbiome has to suffer. Restoring this balance can make a huge difference when it comes to kidney function, according to science. When your gut bugs are happily munching on a high fiber diet, they will be much more efficient at removing uremic toxins. Guys, this really is crucial to improve and maintain kidney function. And according to recent research, fiber from supplements has the same positive effect on the gut microbiome as fiber from foods. This will make things a lot easier. If it only wasn't for that huge array of dietary fiber supplements every single drugstore or grocery aisle carries. Which one is good for you? So how do you know which supplement works and will be best for you? Well, just one fiber supplement has been thoroughly tested on kidney disease patients to produce the incredible result of reversing kidney disease. In a study, patients in stage 5 of kidney disease were administered this remedy because they wanted to avoid dialysis. As incredible as it may sound, they were actually able to achieve just that. No dialysis in people without any remaining kidney function. This special fiber is called acacia fiber. 
Acacia fiber was actually used in several stage 5 patients who wanted to avoid dialysis with an amazing result. This is because this remedy acts as an intestinal form of dialysis. Acacia fiber is also one of the best prebiotics you can find. Being it pure dietary fiber, it's great to help the gut microbiome. These are just some of the reasons why every single kidney disease patient can use this incredible remedy to lower their creatinine levels. Now guys, if you want to know more about Acacia Fiber, there is a link down in the description where you can buy it from the best brands and also find all you need to know about dosages and more. Check it out. And yes, this remedy, when coupled with the foods of today's video, and a super powerful home remedy that I'm going to show you next can for sure lower your creatinine by 20% or more. It's almost time for the most effective home remedy to stop kidney disease progression that works for everyone. Before that, let's see some tips that all kidney disease patients should follow. Drink at least 8 cups of water. Unless you have a fluid restriction, drink at least 8 cups of water during the day. Drinking enough water protects the kidneys in several ways. It helps them flushing out excess sodium and toxins. It helps keeping blood pressure under control. And it even lowers blood sugar levels. Yes, many people don't know this, but blood sugar levels will rise if you are dehydrated. And also, sleep at least 6 hours per day. Sleeping less than 6 hours per day is proven to have profound consequences on kidney function. Obesity, coronary heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and a shortened life expectancy are all linked to poor sleep. And researchers think that lack of sleep can directly affect the physiology of the kidney, causing serious damage. And also, Make exercising regularly your priority. Regular physical activity is one of the best things in the world you can do for your kidneys, your heart, and your whole body. Exercise is proven to lower blood pressure even in those that are resistant to blood pressure lowering medications. And it will make you lose weight, especially visceral fat, the most dangerous type of fat, faster than anything else in the world. This is very important. Lose weight if you need to. Being overweight can directly damage your kidneys. Extra weight forces the kidneys to work harder, making kidney disease progress faster. Keeping our weight under control also means keeping blood pressure and blood sugar levels under control. So question, what is the most powerful remedy every single patient should be using? Okay guys, time now to see one of the most powerful remedies for kidney function you can find. In a review of 22 studies on this exact remedy, almost 1,000 CKD patients were found to have significantly improved many markers of kidney function including proteinuria, hemoglobin, and serum albumin levels. And as we can see, they reduced their creatine levels, the main indicator of kidney function, by 18.3% in just 3 months. This, incredible, this incredibly powerful remedy is cordyceps. Now guys, what you should know about cordyceps is that this is not your usual herbal remedy. This is a powerful adaptogen. Better get informed before taking this one. I've explained all you need to know about this lifesaver in my video up here and this is all for today. Thank you for watching.